Every year there are millions of Medicare beneficiaries across the nation that sign up for Medicare when maybe they don't necessarily have to. Did you know that if you're working and you have credible coverage at the age of 65 and it's through a current employer, either you or your spouse, you do not have to take Medicare and you will not be hit with any type of those very scary and intimidating late enrollment penalties you hear so much about. My name is Christian Brindle. I'm a Medicare health plan expert and specialist. I run the company called Christian Brindle Insurance Services, also known as Everything Senior Insurance. And today I'm here to tell you that every year people fall into the trap where they just get hounded when they're getting onto Medicare and when they're turning 65 from all the inundation that comes with that, whether it be television commercials, ads online or on social media, mailers, people calling you on the phone, people even sometimes showing up on your doorstep. And the inundation typically never actually takes the time to tell you what you need to know about getting onto Medicare and making a viable decision. And part of that is that if you're working and it's through a current employer, so let's just take me for example, right? Let's say I worked for a company and that company was providing me with benefits. Part of those benefits might be health insurance. So it's an active employer, right? So I'm actively working, I'm actively employed, I'm going to work every day, and I have insurance through that employer. Now it has to also be credible insurance. What, via, what, what verifies is credible insurance? Well, credible insurance is typically if the employer has 20 employees or more. If it has less than 20 employees, then it might not be considered credible insurance. If you're not sure about that, make sure to talk to your HR or your insurance department to verify and make sure of that. But typically in most cases, it's going to be credible insurance. And so if that is the case for you, at 65, typically you do have to get on to Medicare, right? To avoid late enrollment penalties. Late enrollment penalties come in the form of Medicare Part B penalties and Medicare Part D is in dog penalties on the drug side. Medicare Part B in 2025 is gonna have $185 a month premium. So if you can avoid having to pay that and postpone it, that's typically a very good thing for you, especially if you don't need the coverage. Now, this is not just your coverage that this applies to. This could also be if you're a dependent and your spouse is working and they have credible coverage through their work, it qualifies as well. Even if you're not necessarily the one that's employed, you're still on an active employer plan, okay? Every year, millions of people get onto Medicare and keep their group coverage at the same time, not realizing they really don't have to be on both. But like I said earlier, the inundation Right, the propaganda, as I like to call it, with, of Medicare, when you tar start turning 65, of all the advertisements that you get, always fail to take the time to explain that to people. And people get scared by all the urgency that they try to build, and they get on Medicare anyway and pay that extra money. So just understand this. It's true that when you turn 65, you do have to get on to Medicare. Medicare Part B and Medicare Part D for drugs, you know, drug coverage do hit you with lifetime late enrollment penalties if you don't sign up at the right time. However, the one way you're going to get out of those penalties if, is if either you or your spouse is working, has credible coverage through your employer, and you're able to postpone it without any penalties or punishments. People always ask, how do I go about actually postponing that coverage? Is there something that I need to do? The short answer is no, there's nothing you need to do. You just don't apply for Medicare. You just frankly do nothing and then when you do actually enroll into Medicare, there are some documentation and some forms you have to show that show you had credible coverage to avoid the penalties. But as long as you take those special precautions when it is time for you to enroll, either when you're retired or whether you stop being on that group plan, whichever one comes first, that's when you'd have to get onto Medicare. But as long as you take those special precautions, you will avoid all group-related penalties on your Medicare. Okay, So this is very important for you to know. It'll save you a lot of money thousands of dollars over the course of time, maybe even tens of thousands if you're working long enough and you're postponing your Medicare long enough, okay? I hope this video was helpful. If it was and it answered this very important question for you, do us a favor, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to click that like button on this video. It helps more people like you that are turning 65 or getting onto Medicare find this information who desperately need to hear it. Make sure to comment down below. What are your thoughts on this? Is this something you knew? Is this something you feel like they don't do a good enough job of making clear to the public? I certainly believe that. Make sure to subscribe. We put out weekly videos to help you with your Medicare and help navigate the maze of Medicare and everything else in between. Make sure to reach out to us. 
Our agency has no cost to do business with you. There's no obligation, but what we do is when you get onto Medicare, we actually help you look through the options and find the best one based on your needs and preferences. We're licensed in over 45 states, and we have an amazing team, and one of our highly trained, highly proficient licensed insurance agents can help you look through the options at no cost to you and no obligation. Our contact information is 801-255-5340. Again, 801-255-5340. You can also find that information down in the description of this video. Again, we're licensed in 45 states, so we can help you almost anywhere. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end, and happy Medicare, everybody.